Chakras are energy awareness centers. They are the revolving doors of creativity and communication between the spirit and the world. Welcome my beautiful brothers and sisters connecting from all over Mother Earth at the start of a new week, Tempest Fugit, to the portal of the Casa de Dominacio, the house of love, where the medicine is love, here in Abijania, in the heart of Brazil. And we have another spectacular day here, this amazing gift from God Almighty to help us to multiply our love light on earth and of course it's very very hot now towards the end of the dry season and we're encouraged to drink a lot of blessed water. We have deep blue skies and this reminds us of the mantle of our Divine Mother, her love and protection and the sky unites us across the miles and we have little white fluffy clouds floating past in remembrance of our transformation and we are just travellers here on earth and all things pass and all things are impermanent as we are being held in this majestic high vibration grateful for another day of life to really make a difference to walk each other home so wherever you are in the world relax if you're lying down great if you're under a crystal bed super and if you prefer to sit upright as we do here in the current don't cross your body in any way be open to give and receive and allow this miraculous high vibration to flow through all of our chakras pouring forth from our heart center connecting us right across the globe heart to heart this wonderful current of love and light and put a glass of water beside you this is blessed and we drink it at the end of the world to nourish us mind body and spirit and as we close our physical eyes which is totally necessary for this deep deep connection the best sight is insight we leave the material world behind with all of its stresses problems difficulties challenges we open our spiritual eyes where we can see beyond appearances all there is we are reminded again and again that we're not the body we're so much more the body merely houses our eternal spirits and we have so much help available to us from beyond the veil these phenomenal spirits elevated beings entities of light and love with us 24 7 as we reach out to them and ask with a contrite heart and we receive everything we need and more for the journey and today we go on a voyage of discovery and raise our awareness of our chakras everybody has them and they are gateways to help us to connect on a divine level as we realize that everything is energy, the thoughts we think, the words we speak, the actions we take, right down to the food we eat. And the chakras are inner portals of harmony, linking the physical and spiritual planes, offering a deep and time-tested formula for transformation, abundance, and the ability to delve deep into one's own power of manifestation. We have the ability to harness the potential of the tremendous internal energy pools that lie dormant in each and every one of our bodies. Your physical body is just one layer. Beneath this three-dimensional domain, lies a subtle body and a complex system of energetic centers, lines and sheets beaming out into the world, our energetic field. What a chakra refers to is the wheel-like movement of the chakra. Chakra literally means wheel or circle 
and it is a word from the Sanskrit language. A chakra is an energy center, a vortex, and the focal point of subtle energy in your energetic body. Each and every one of us have seven primary chakras in our bodies, which are starting at the bottom of the spine, the f called the root chakra. And as we move up our body, we come to the sacral chakra, then the solar plexus. Then we move into the heart chakra and up towards the throat chakra. Moving into our third eye chakra. And then finally, at the top of our physical bodies, the crown chakra. And we need to just take a minute and really connect with these energy points in our bodies. And for this work, we really need our eyes closed. So we can do this deep, deep work together. And preferably don't block your body in any way because you block the flow of energy. That's why we do the current together. We don't need to be lying on a crystal bed. This certainly helps to really empower our chakras to be vitalized. But we can do this deep, deep work just merely by sitting and all about intention. We really need to realize that each chakra is connected to certain aspects of our lives and certain areas or glands and organs of our body. Each chakra is associated with a specific color, an element, a tone, a frequency. They are spinning disks of energy that should stay open and aligned as they correspond to bundles of nerves, major organs and areas of our energetic body that affect our emotional and physical well-being. These chakras that we all have are gateways between the physical to the mental, to the emotional, to the manifested spiritual essence of the self and eventually to our soul essence. This gateway provides certain amount of energy from one aspect to the other on a continuous basis without interference from certain dimensional boundaries and existences or certain belief structure boundaries. The chakras surpass belief structure boundaries in order to allow the movement and flow of pure conscious essence, pure energy essence to move from the spiritual self through finally down into our physical bodies. We are reminded that God has no religion. There's only one religion, the religion of love. And no matter what our belief system, we can make connection to the God consciousness through these circles of energy in all of our physical bodies. So let us take a long, slow, gentle, deep, deep breath right here, right now. Into the heart center. Our heart chakra. The color green. Reminding us 
that we are love and lightness of being. As we turn now to our brother Jesus, the light of the world, whose teachings of the Christ consciousness is all about love thy neighbor as thyself. Forgive yourself and everybody, everything. As we let go of anything and everything that no longer serves us, as we try to see with the eyes of Christ, we ask our brother Jesus now in this sacred moment to really help us to love ourselves, to love our brothers and sisters, which is our mission on earth, the opening of our hearts, and to forgive ourselves and to forgive our brothers and sisters as we walk each other home on earth. And in the spirit of Dom Ignacio, who reminds us there are 55 countries represented at the Casa, we bring you today the Lord's Prayer from our beautiful sister Tatiana, daughter of the Casa, amazing light worker, in her native language, Bulgarian, reminding us always and in always that God speaks vibration and all prayers are answered. As we surrender to the will of God, thy will be done, not my will. Отче наш, който си на небесата, да се свети Твоето име, да дойде Твоето царство, да бъде Твоята воля, както на небето, да и на земята. На същния ни хляб дай ни днес и прости нам дълговете ни, както и ние прощаваме на нашите дълъжници и не въведи нас в изкушение, но избави ни от лукавия, защото Твое е царството и силата и славата в веки веков. Амин. And we turn now to our Divine Mother Mary, the Mother's Heart, the Feminine Power, Mother Earth, Queen of Peace. We ask you in this sacred moment to intercede for us, your children, to somehow alleviate the suffering of humanity in these challenging times now on earth as we go within on the journey of the heart to find the peace, the harmony, the tranquility, the love, the forgiveness, the joy, the abundance, the humility, the patience, the faith, the hope, the awareness deep, deep within us, and it is within all of us. We are divine beings helping us all incarnate and disincarnate on our healing journey back home, merging into the light, out of separation, into oneness, one heart, one soul, one light, one love, one family. Да живее Мария, пълна с благодат, Господ е с теб, благословена ти си сред жените, и благословен е плодът на отробата ти, Исус. Света Мария, Майка на Христос, моли се за нашите грехове, сега и в часа на нашата смърт. Амин.
God has no religion. There's only one religion, the religion of love. And we are constantly forgetting that our very essence is love light. We're not the body, we're much more than we think. And it's lovely that we come together in this solemn hour to connect with the portal of the Casa, which welcomes all belief systems, all creeds, all colours, all class. No being is discriminated against. Every being deserves to be healed, whether we have a body or not. And today, as we bring into our consciousness these gateways in all of our bodies, no exception, every physical person on earth has chakras. We take the time out now to really dedicate ourselves to this deep, deep work, becoming conscious of our breathing. Slow, gentle, deep, deep breaths. Right down to our root chakra, grounding us. And breathing in much, much more love light. Connecting with our very source. And as we breathe deeply, let us go on a journey of correlating our seven chakras, which are based in Hinduism, to phrases in the Lord's Prayer, which we use every day to connect through the portal of the Casa de Dom Ignacio. Our Father, who art in heaven, help us to see that the greatest service we can give to others is to continually transform ourselves into clear images made in your likeness. When we feel the emptiness inside, it is so tempting to seek without for the wealth, power and recognition needed to help us feel more assured in our service to others. Instead, help us to see ourselves as we truly are beings of light and energy, already complete with our own God-given power, creativity and blessings, which only need to be lit up brightly by your love and appreciated by ourselves. As we keep our eyes closed, we bring our attention to our seventh chakra, our crown, and the color violet. This is our center for spiritual purpose. And the affirmation is, I know. In hollowing and making holy your name, we allow the fullness of your grace to flood into us from your home above into the top of our heads. Making space as we move down into our sixth chakra, our third eye, the color indigo, the center for our spiritual vision as we affirm, I see. Thy kingdom to come inside our minds. A 
And then we move down into our fifth chakra, our throats, the color blue, the center for decision making and communication as we affirm, I speak. Inviting God to delightfully invade our voices so that we can commit to and make the most courageous proclamation possible. Thy will be done. Which is only to make us ever more like the impossibly loving, powerful and wise you, God. As we move now into our fourth chakra, our hearts, the color green, the center for joining the event energies above and below to heal and relate, to bring heaven to earth. As we affirm, I love. Now, God, you have gone further into us, invading our hearts, truly commingling the divine with the human, so we can truly say our earth as it is in heaven. As we move into our third chakra, the solar plexus, the color yellow, the center for managing power and structure. As we affirm, I do. Because we need earthly bread and other good things as well as heavenly bread. We can now ask freely and confidently of you, give us our daily bread to fill the aching stomach and other earthly wants and needs. It is your joy, God, to grant our wishes. As we move into our second chakra, the sacral, the color orange, the center for creativity within boundaries, as we affirm, I feel. And still your loving does not stop, God. It reaches further into our most creative places where we give life and make love prosper in our relationships. Here now the loving comes easy, but the temptation to trespass on other boundaries is great and the experience of being trespassed and betrayal is all too frequent making us need to ask for the grace of forgiveness for ourselves and for others. As we move into our first chakra, our root, the color red, the center for security and survival, our affirmation is I am. Now you have thoroughly penetrated our innermost recesses, even to the very bottom of our spines, where your loving presence, God, seeks to cast out any remnants of temptation so that you may deliver us from evil and let us know the most blessed peace and well-being. In this sacred moment, God, you are so thoroughly within us. We are ablaze with light. Let us shine our light on each other and the world. In our work, in our relationships with our brothers and sisters. Let us send light and loving energy to all who are sick, lonely and hurt by war. For thine is the kingdom, the power 
and the glory forever and ever. Amen.
As we bring our awareness into our bodies now, all of our chakras, it's a wonderful opportunity to connect with all there is, to realize that we are part of the God consciousness and we are love and we are light. That is all, all there is. And as we bring our awareness into our center, the chakras run along the spine. from the root to the crown. And when we align our chakras, we get to acknowledge and embrace all aspects of ourselves. We may be all unique, but we have the same power to connect. And by using affirmations, we can bring our chakras into balance. And we are acknowledging that we are filled with greatness, which is our crown chakra, and filled with humility, which is our root chakra. We are acknowledging that we are learning and growing, which is our throat chakra, and we are working to accept and embrace our strengths and weaknesses which is our solar plexus. So let us concentrate now, just in this moment, on our root chakra. Red, I am disciplined and grounded.
and moving into our second chakra, sacral, the color orange. I feel I am balanced. I know when to act and I know when to wait. Moving into our solar plexus chakra, the color yellow. I do. I accept that I am learning and growing. As we move into our heart chakra, the color green, I love. I am filled with courage. Moving upwards into our throat chakra, the color blue, I speak. And I am filled with the power of spirit. Moving into our third eye, the color indigo. I see. I am a wise decision maker. As we move into our crown chakra, the color violet. Our center for spiritual purpose. I know. I let go and I trust the process of life.
relax now into our physical bodies, keeping our eyes closed to the end of the work. Being aware not to cross our bodies in any way, not to block our chakras, as we're aware of these very, very strong portals of energy resonating out into the universe as we are open to receive now. As you give, so it is given you. Taking a long, slow, gentle, deep, deep breath into the heart chakra. I love green. Breathing in the future with all of its hope, promise, joy, love, forgiveness, peace, awareness, light, faith, hope, joy, abundance, gratitude, mindfulness, coming together in brotherhood and sisterhood as we breathe out the past with all of its problems, difficulties, pain, hurt, greed, anger. Anything, everything that no longer serves us, letting go, stepping into our power, transmuting all denser energy into divine light, our very essence. We're all part of creation, resonating more and more to the color of the rainbows, our very essence, our chakras, growing, expanding, multiplying into the universe all of our bodies. In our mind's eye now, let's visualize a waterfall, like the waterfall here at the Casa, or any place of sacred running water that you know, with all the gifts of Mother Nature. Big blue butterflies helping us with our transformation as we shift dimensions into a whole new earth paradigm of love light. Strong green oak trees purifying our oxygen. Birds of paradise happily, generously, serenading us with a divine symphony. Birds don't sing for applause, they sing because they have a song. They're such a generous giver. Carpets of magnificent, colorful, fragrant roses being kissed by hummingbirds and bumblebees and even more butterflies. Brilliant sunshine and crystal clear waters embodying rainbows of light as we resonate. Our chakras with the color of the rainbow. Everything has vibration. Everything is interconnected. All part of the same shining web. The God consciousness. All there is. Sacred trinity of innumerable names. Let's all go to this beautiful place together. Bring your family and friends with you, which is easy. And today in particular, bring those you need to forgive and those who need to forgive you. This is why we're back on earth in this moment in time and space to let go through our crown chakra connection with the God consciousness. Dedicating ourselves to this work of liberation, anything, everything that's blocking us, stopping us from stepping into our power, our very essence, which is love light. Forgiveness is unlocking the door to set someone free and realizing we were the prisoner all along. Let's bring anyone who's particularly struggling. And there's so many of our brothers and sisters feeling suicidal, depressed, desolate, abandoned, unloved, unwanted, frustrated, angry, homeless. The children of the world, they're innocent. They don't need to suffer. Our brothers and sisters languishing in migrant camps. We're all children of God, no exceptions. They need to be liberated now. Anyone who is at the mercy of extreme weather, heat, fire, Floods, famine, drought, God is merciful and will hear our prayers. And let's bring medium Joao into this high vibration and anyone who is struggling or is suffering on account of the problems at the castle. And we never forget our brothers and sisters without their physical bodies who need to be liberated into the light. Extending this beautiful cleansing healing energy to them also. Every being deserves to be healed whether we have a body or not. And as we receive this miraculous high vibration into our open hearts, 
pouring from the heavens, nourishing us, filling us up to overflowing, giving us everything we need and more for the earthly journey. Let's share our bounty with the world. There's much more than enough love light to go around. Bringing this majestic high vibration now into all hospitals, helping our angel, doctors and nurses, healthcare professionals, patients, and anyone who's in a caring capacity now in these challenging times on Mother Earth. Gushing forth into all nursing homes, helping our elders into hospices, prisons, orphanages, asylums, anywhere, everywhere. On planet Earth, where brothers and sisters are suffering in pain or are hungry. This God light pouring into all war zones, anywhere there's riots, unrest, disharmony, fighting, conflict, bringing the peace of God in our lifetime, not only for us, but for future generations to come. And let's send this rainbow energy now out to our brothers and particularly our sisters and all of the children of Afghanistan. St. Reed is always with us, to God all things are possible. This unstoppable high vibration penetrating the consciousness of our government leaders and anyone who's in a position of authority over another human being, helping them to wake up to our divine essence. We're all in this together, all equal, no difference, part of the God consciousness, children of the source. And let's start simply by putting people before profit. It's not difficult. In this sacred moment, this pristine, crystal clear energy, rainbows of light pouring forth into all of our ecosystems, regenerating, regrowing, nourishing. Mother Earth already bouncing back, hallelujah. God is great, miracles abound. In this sacred moment, this Almighty, all encompassing, all loving, all forgiving, cleansing, healing energy, enveloping Gaia. Earth and heart of the same letters. The earth is receiving a heart transplant through the sacred heart of Jesus and Mary. Anything is possible now. Growing, expanding, multiplying, cleansing and healing all beings, carnate and disincarnate, all creatures, great and small, as it gushes forth into infinity. May all beings, with and without bodies, all of God's creatures in all universes, be healthy, happy, joyful, kind, generous, aware respectful, loving, forgiving, prayerful, trusting, faithful, humble, mindful. Come together in brotherhood and sisterhood, part of the oneness, and be at peace and harmony and tranquility with this beautiful, ever-growing current of love and light. Amen.
And as we bask in this miraculous high vibration, rejoicing for all the blessings we are receiving into our open hearts, the center of our being from on high, nourishing us, filling us up to overflowing, giving us everything we need and more for this earthly journey. We are in total gratitude to God Almighty for another opportunity for us to come together, this wonderful collective consciousness. One family under the banner of the Casa de Dominicano, the house of love, where the medicine is love. As we take this leap of faith together, realizing that there is a bigger picture, that we are powerful beyond measure, that we are much more than we think. We have our love light beaming out from all of our bodies, mind, body and spirit into the universe, changing the world forever, for the better, making a huge difference, particularly needed now on the planet Earth. And thank you, God, for sending all of your messengers of love, so many angels, archangels, guardian angels, ascended masters, unseen beings, elevated spirits, and these phenomenal entities of light and love from all backgrounds, all creeds, all colors, all belief systems. They too walk the earth in human form, just like us. They see our suffering and they know exactly what we need. They know all about the human condition. They are helping us to multiply our love light on earth, to open our hearts, which is our mission on earth, to shine. All that matters at the end of our earthly lives is how much do we love, how much do we let go. And thank you, God, for sending our brother Jesus, Prince of Peace, all of the Christ consciousness, and our Divine Mother Mary, Queen of Peace, their sacred hearts beaming out their love light to all of us in this valley of tears, helping us to wake up to our divine essence, to realize that we're not the body, we're much, much more than we could ever imagine. And that life is so short, the blink of an eye, and we've been here many lifetimes. And we have a job to do. And the lessons are not easy right now. But when we stay in our heart center and beam out our love light, that's all that's required. And when our earthly life is over and the lessons are learned, we will be liberated into their open arms in the celestial fields with all of these holy beings, where there's no more pain and no more suffering. How great is that? And to all of you, my beautiful, brave, courageous brothers and sisters, pilgrims on the path, for time and time again coming together in this sacred hour for Keeping on going as we learn to live by faith and not by sight. For your commitment, your dedication, your humility, your patience, your faith, your trust, your hope, your awareness. your faith, your light, and your love to be in service in all things for the greater glory of God, written on the walls of the entity's room in Portuguese and English as a reminder of our mission on earth in love and service in all things for the greater glory of God. Faith moves mountains and your faith is healing you, your family, your friends, all of those around you, your extended family and Mother Earth 
and your love and your light beaming out from your open hearts is changing the world forever for the better. We are the change we need to see in the world. We are the ones we have been waiting for. Rise up, warriors of the light. Rainbow warriors, soldiers of the Christ consciousness. We have nothing to lose but our chains. Choose love in each and every moment. This is our mission. Keep your hearts open, no matter what. We have so much help available to us. We rise by lifting others, helping our brothers and sisters along the path, walking each other home. Stay elevated. You're doing an amazing job. Thank you. Let us pray with open hearts, without ceasing. Trustingly, joyfully, happily, knowing that our prayers have been answered, always and in all ways, as we surrender to the will of God. Thy will be done, not my will. I am that I am. I am pure energy. I am my very own healer. I believe I can heal myself through affirmations and prayer. I am healing myself. I am aware of the energetic balancing and I'm able to tap into that to heal. I allow myself to release all imbalances in my consciousness. I know that my higher self uses the frequency I need to heal right now. These frequencies heal every aspect of my life. I am powerful. I am my own healer. I am pure energy. I am self-healing. I am healed. I am that I am. Amen. Love, loving, love. Namaste.